Mines are a lot safer now compared to what they used to be. There was a time where women and children under 10 years of age worked in underground mines in Britain. During this time, many families worked in the underground mines together. They did this so that they could have enough money to live on. Up until now, many children as young as five years of age were known to work in mines, where they would work the same amount of hours as the adults, but for far less money. There were a number of jobs children would have to do in the mines. Firstly, there was the trapper. These were often the youngest in the family. Their job was to open and close the wooden doors called trap doors. These doors allowed the mines to be ventilated with fresh air, preventing some of the more toxic gases filling up the mine. Trappers would usually sit in total darkness for up to 12 hours at a time, waiting to let the coal tub through the door. It was not hard work, but it was boring and could be very dangerous. If they fell asleep, the safety of the whole mine could be under threat. The older children and women usually had the job of being hurriers. Hurriers pulled and pushed the tubs full of coal along roadways from the coal face to the pit bottom. The younger children worked in pairs, but the older children and women worked alone. Hurriers would be tied to the coal tub and would have to pull or push over 600 kilograms of coal. The other job was a getter. These were the oldest and strongest members of the family, often the grown men or strong youths. Their job was to work at the coal face, cutting the coal from the seam with a pickaxe. Getters were the only members of the family who would work continually with a candle or safety lamp, as they needed the light to see the coal face.